Hi everyone, salam bahagia dan selamat sejahtera. As we usher in the year 2023, Proverbs 17:22 comes to my mind. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Saudara-saudara sekalian, Amsal 17:22 Mengingatkan kita tentang kegembiraan hati Bila kita sediakan diri kita untuk tahun 2023 Marilah kita mensempurnakan hati kita dengan kegembiraan Anbarda berlilai Nidi muligal pada nilai hidup terendah Magal cik peti pesikin rada Anda magal cik orang udah ulat tilam ulat tilam Nihai terut kemari Nah bedi kuam Nda purdu baratam hidup adam Hidup adu hidup ti muna lah Nah meyapudi hidup ini Dear friends, as we come together to celebrate this new year, let us allow the Divine God to reign so that in all circumstances, joy will prevail and with that joy, we will be able to face the new year with newness of life. And in the past, 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 Nam serapah dan berdua bersetai melihat kamu. Saudara-saudara sekalian, marilah kita ingati bahawa Tuhan itu yang memberi hati yang mengembirakan kita. Ulan ini berkem, ini ya putang dua artikel. Saya mengucapkan kepada kamu semua tahun baru yang istimewa. Juli, Jinian, Kuala. I wish to take this occasion to which each one of you a blessed and holy new year 2023 with joy in your heart let joy reign take care god bless Let us glorify God with the entrance hymn.
Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. A very good morning, dear sisters and brothers in Christ. Good morning, Father. Today, as we begin the first, year, first day of the year, seemingly, not seemingly, it's really a new year. <laughs> as new as it is, how new are we? We may be new in our attire, new before others, but how new are we before God? Perhaps we are not so new because we are sinful people. And so as we come and stand before him, as we start this new year, let us ask him for a newness of heart so that we may be able to walk into this new year with greater hope and joy. And so let us pause for a moment and ask him for pardon and mercy. And together let us cry out to him as we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts God's and in my words, in what, what I have done, done, in what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray, pray for, for me, me to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You are Lord of all creation. Kyrie. Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison, Kyrie Eleison. You are hope. Be our word, our consolation, Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Christ eleison. Christ shield our steps in the light of God's salvation. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie
to God in the highest. the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary, bestowed on the human race, the grace of eternal salvation, grant we pray that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord spoke to Moses and said, Say this to Aaron and his sons. This is how you are to bless the sons of Israel. You shall say to them, May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord uncover his face to you and bring you peace. This is how they are to call down my name on the sons of Israel, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. and bless us, O oh God, be gracious and bless us. O oh God, be gracious and bless us, O oh God, be gracious and bless us. God, be gracious and Shed its light 
waits upon us, so will your ways be known upon earth, and all nations learn your saving help. With fairness you rule the peoples, you guide the nations on earth. Blessing till the ends of the earth reveal him. Oh God, be gracious and bless us. Oh God, be gracious and bless us. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the appointed time came, God sent his son, born of a woman, born a subject of the law, to redeem the subjects of the law, and to enable us to be adopted as sons. The proof that you are sons is that God had sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, the Spirit that cries, Abba, Father. And it is this that makes you a son. You are not a slave anymore. And if God has made you son, then He has made you heir. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. times in the past and in various different ways God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets but in our own time the last days he has spoken to us through his son
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The shepherds hurried away to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told about him. And everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds were back glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. When the eighth day came and the child was to be circumcised, they gave him the name Jesus, the name the angel had given him before his conception. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, all of you, I suppose, I believe, you know Sungai Ujung Club? Yes, huh? sure, most of you, some of you are members. Sometimes I also go, la. not member. <laughs> they invite me to go and eat, so I go. Lot of kind people you are. There is also Slango Club. There is also Yacht Club. There are so many clubs <clears throat> that we go to. Some of you are members. Some of you go to have good time. Today I am going to speak about one club called Club Gold Club 99. There was this king who was with his minister traveling probably on his horse cart or maybe a car along the countryside. As he was traveling he saw a farmer with his wife and children playing in the fields, singing songs, dancing, having good time, eating and enjoying and doing his work. The king turned to his minister and said, Hey, look at those people having so much of fun. I am in the palace. So many servants, soldiers, my wife and children, but I am not happy. How come? The minister said, Oh, your majesty, that is because they don't belong, they are not a member of the Gold Club 99. What do you mean? His minister said, Your Majesty, you give me 99 gold coins and you will know what I mean. I will give you the answer. So when they returned to the palace, the king got 99 gold coins and gave it to him in a bag, in a small sack. So the minister said, but your majesty, you must wait for some time, maybe three to six months before I can give you the answer, before I can show you what I mean. 
And then the king said, okay, no problem. So the next day, this minister took this little bag of 99 gold coins and went and left it at the doorstep of the farmer's house and came back. When the farmer opened the door, when he saw this, gold, this bag, naturally, like all of us, very curious, he took the bag and saw what was inside. Gold coins. And his first natural tendency was to open the bag, threw all the coins onto the floor and started counting. One, two, three, four, five. As he continued counting, as he finished counting, there were 99 gold coins. He said, no, cannot be. Maybe I made a mistake. 99 must be 100 gold coins. So he counted again. Then he said, my God, which idiot gave only 99 coins? Why can't he put 100, one more coin? Then he said, maybe I made a mistake counting. He called his wife. Come, count this money. I made a mistake counting. Maybe you count. So she counted. She told the husband, Dear, only 99. I, are you are. Huh? Always don't know how to count. I make mistake. Call the son. Son, come. You count. He's counting. Papa, 99. La, papa. Are you 99? Huh? Call the daughter. Daughter, come. Count. She counted, also 99. He said, I must make this 100. So he started toiling the field. He started working so hard. He started doing all that he could to make that 100. So one gold coin is not so easy to come by. He has to really slog to get that one gold coin. Meanwhile, he comes back also every day to count this money, 99, 99. So similarly, one of the days when he came back, he counted only 97. So he asked his family members, hey, who, huh? who took the money? The wives came and said, I took two gold coins shopping. La. He was very furious, got very angry. Get into a, got into a fight with his wife. Then he said, next time make sure you don't touch that. Meanwhile, this little son was outside. He didn't know what was happening. The next day he counted again. No more 97. This was 95. He called everyone, asked his wife, did you take the money? The son said, Papa, I took two coins and went with my friends. So father slapped him and hit him and commotion began in the house and everyone started fighting and then misunderstandings and they were in the fields bickering and they were very upset, sorrowful, depressed, lost all the buzz, all the joy, all the fun. The king with this minister this time passing by and he turned to the minister, hey, what happened to this family? They look so depressed. Look at them fighting and not happy at all. What happened? The minister said, Your Majesty, they now belong to the club, the 99 gold coin club, the gold cup, the gold club, 99 gold club. Dear sisters and brothers, you have everything. You're blessed with so many things. What are you searching for? Still searching for happiness? Still searching for the unfounded coin? Last night, these two weeks, my son, or rather this week, Sunday, Christmas and today, I wondered a lot of people come early from us to Mass. And they're very happy, you know. The church packed. After that, they go partying. Ho, 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 ho. And everything else. 
Mother Mary, in today's gospel, Mary, as for Mary, she treasured all these things and pondered them in her heart. What are your treasures? What do you treasure? What do you treasure every day in your life? Psalm 37, verse 4, tells us, Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Delight yourself in the Lord, and He will give you the desires of your heart. Many of us don't delight in the Lord. We delight in everything else. How long does that intoxication keep you delightful? How long does a car that you buy, a new car, keep you delightful? A new house, newly married couple, how long? Nothing in this world can sustain you in the joy, in the delight that you are searching and looking for the happiness every single day. If you are so contented, if you are so happy, why is it we get angry so easily? Why is it that we complain all the time? Why is it we are jealous? Why is it we are restless? Why is it when little challenges come our way, we get so uptight? You know, even among you, People talk about me. Not all of you though. <laughs> if one person talks about you negative, remember 10 people will exalt and bless you. If 10 people curse you and put you down, 100 people will bless you and exalt you. Likewise, many people will exalt and bless you and, and keep you well. So don't worry of what others are saying. As you usher in, as you move in, as you step, as you walk into the new year. Whom are you delighting in? And what are you delighting in? Be focused. And you must know where and what you are doing in this world. As you live in this planet earth. You are created and designed to leave a legacy behind. Not just leave, oh well, I came into this world and I live and I go. No, 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 no. You are so beautiful. You are so wonderful. You are created in the image and likeness of God. How less can you be because you are sharing in the glory of God. And so you cannot be otherwise, dear sisters and brothers. Psalm 37, 4 tells us, delight in the Lord. And most of us, what are we delighting in? And we are still hoping and trying to make ourselves happy with amassing more and more of what? Of what? Gather the graces of God as the psalm you sang this, uh, this morning. Graces upon graces. And you will never feel in any way downcast. Allow him to come into you. And dear sisters and brothers, as you usher in the new year, don't make resolutions. We all break all our resolutions. No, why resolutions? Don't, 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 don't. Only one thing is needed. If you have not been doing this, do this from today. Bring the divine inside you. Bring him a little bit more. That's all. You see, great things happening, unfolding in your life. Ask yourself, have I changed all these years? Have I, am I different today than when I was yesterday or last year? Last year, yesterday? And you know what? When you do this, when you delight in the Lord, 
even the sins that we continue to commit will let will be dropping off one by one and you will be rejoicing bring that joy bring that peace to your family and not just your family you know i was telling just now all of us here have a good heart we all have good heart but do we have a big heart oh father if we have a big heart we have to go to ijn you are in trouble i am not talking about physically big heart i am talking about the capacity that your heart has to be able to give not just your family not just your kind to every kind that also includes the animals the birds of the air the lilies of the fields the animals and that of the sea every human person we as christians must make that difference if you walk in the street someone you don't know never mind initiate a smile father if i smile that fellow may tackle me la if you are in the lord never mind if somebody tackle you also good la because you're not married for a long time <laughs> so get married you know the lord is so good so dear sisters and brothers enjoy this life every time i'm telling people rejoice enjoy and so today as you come as you celebrate as you return home this must happen in your life even if nobody is around this heart has the capacity to rejoice and i pray and you pray that we will be able to make that change you know we will make resolutions this year i must not do this this year i must not smoke this year i must not uh, uh, play so much of games and i must study more children no 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 don't make all these resolutions this year i want a little bit of the lord in me and every day you put a little bit of the lord in you beautiful you won't regret this life you know just before christmas i had two funerals 23rd 22nd 23rd i think and yesterday we had a funeral and tomorrow another funeral and yesterday early morning 6:30 an infant passed on why i am telling you this when you go when i go we must go rejoicing because heaven rejoices at you coming into heaven so rejoice always and again i say rejoice says the lord so my dear sisters and brothers as you return home belong not to any club but belong to the lord sometimes or belonging to somebody that person can disappoint you i own a car a new car how long is that joy a new house how long but the joy in the lord is forever so let us pray and ask for this grace because this is a grace that we need to move on with greater hope peace love and joy when there is joy so much of joy in you you don't get easily upset over many things when there is so much of joy in you you don't worry what people do you will just move on so dear sisters and brothers he loves you continue to be a blessing of him to each other to the church to the society that you belong to god bless you god loves you amen so let us profess our faith as together we say I believe, I believe in one in God, God, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, 
of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe, I believe in, in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, life who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Divine Master, we thank you for the gift of Mary. She treasured all things in her heart and always great with gratefulness. In the same way, we surrender ourselves to you as we place all our needs, knowing very well that you will give them in your own time and way. And we turn to you now. For, our, for the Church, our Holy Father and clergy, that as educators of our faith, may they be strengthened with continuous wisdom and knowledge. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. For all of us gathered here, that we keep God in our hearts, chanting His name each day, and take the lead in the world from darkness to light, from falsehood to truth, and from wrong to right. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an increase in our faith life and for a brighter future, for our footsteps falling in the light of the Word of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Dear God, we thank you for the gift of Mary who sang the Magnificat in Luke's Gospel. We also want to sing that glory of yours as you provide us all our needs. We just want to thank you and glorify you by the way we live our lives. We need your graces to do this. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. God rest you, merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power. Tidings of comfort and joy 
Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and good of all His holy church. O God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us who find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, so one day we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere. To give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, 
join with us in the humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Julian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. We especially remember all our family members, dear ones, who were there last year, but who are no more with us. People whom we know, let's offer them up to the Lord. Have mercy on us all, we pray. We pray for those who have stopped coming to church, those who are unwell, those elders who are unable to come, those people who have asked us to pray for them. People whom we know who have stopped believing in God, let us offer them all to the Lord.
that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god saint joseph her blessed spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ Through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever my dear sisters and brothers we are so blessed and privileged to call god our father and so as we move into the new year let us come closer to him and allow him to take residence in us more and more and so with confidence and love for him let us turn to him and pray in the prayer he has taught us Father who art in heaven hello be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all darkness from all unhappiness from all misery and doubts and fears as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who said to the apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church of your church gathered here and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace and joy of the risen lord be with each one of you and with your spirit dear sisters and brothers let us offer each other the peace and joy of the risen lord peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the
Mary treasured all these things in her heart. Let us allow this treasure to come into our hearts that more than anything in this world this treasure is so invaluable that transforms us. Behold the Lamb of God Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh, no, I am Lord, not worthy, Lord, worthy that you should, should enter under, under my roof, roof but I'll only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. invite all those watching to make an act of spiritual communion with a spirit of gratefulness, thanking God for his infinite love and sacrifice. With humble and contrite hearts, let us express our desire to invite Jesus into our souls. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Second collection for the mystery, mystery, Ministry of Social Concern. Dear sisters and brothers, just a few moments together, the first day of the year, let us just pray that our attitudes, our character, our personality will flow with that of Jesus with that of Mother Mary. As you look back into your life for the last year, what have you treasured? Probably we have treasured unforgiveness. We have treasured irritations and frustrations. 
jealousy, hatred, complaints after complaints, grumblings and bickering, unrest in the mind. Probably we have been at gossips. Probably we have been having loose language. Probably the people we associate with were not of the spirit and mind of Christ. Probably I have gone astray in so many ways. But my dear sister, my dear brother, don't lose heart, he loves you. And that is the only reason, the only reason that God came. So allow him to touch you this year. As you look back, how many times have you thanked him? My dear sister, my dear brother, you won't have enough time to thank him because for the many breaths that you take every single day, can you thank him? But even then, we don't thank him once in a day. For the family he has given us, for the children, for the parents, grandparents, for the friends, for the husband, the wife, the neighbors, the relatives, the health, all that we enjoy in this country, thank him, thank him. If you look around you, so many countries warring with a lot of calamities, but we are so blessed. Thank Him. Thank Him for the faces that smile at you. Thank Him for the job that God has given you. Thank you for the things that you own, your car, your house. Thank you for the nation that you belong to. Thank Him for yet another year that you are alive. Thank Him for the food, the shelter, the joys of being. Thank Him for the kind words people have passed on to you. Thank you for your bosses. Thank you for your subordinates. Thank you that you have a job. Thank you for your health. Thank him. Thank him for the health that you have. Thank him for what you are, the knowledge, the wisdom, the qualifications. So many things to thank him for. Thank him for the newborn baby. Thank you for that you are newly married. Thank him, thank him for the courage that he has given you to be able to face all challenges amidst the loss of your loved ones. Thank him for the money that he has given you. Thank him. So many things to thank him for. You never can stop thanking him. So my dear sister, my dear brother, treasure this in your hearts as Mary treasured Jesus. Thank him above all for Mary herself, for Jesus, for the divine God who resides inside within you. Thank you for the universe that we are put into. Thank him for the beautiful child you are. Thank you for your gift as a person to others. Thank you for all your senses are working in order. Thank you. So many things. Thank Him for the celebration of the Eucharist. Thank Him for your priest. Thank Him for all that He has given you, showered you, my dear sister and brother. Allow Him to sustain you in Him. And make a difference this year. Thank Him.
glorify him the beautiful person you are the handsome person you are the child of god all the talents you have thank him give it back to him all the time he has given you give it back to him all praise all honor and glory to you lord be conscious of this god he loves you so much delight in the lord and you'll feel your hearts with his peace love and joy Just breathe in and breathe out. Relax in Him. And this year, relax more with Him than with any other. I invite you to very gently stand. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever virgin mary mother of your son and mother of the church through christ our lord amen kindly be seated for a few announcements we welcome new parishioners for the first time to our parish kindly stand Okay, we will move on. On 6th of January, there will be Holy Hour in English followed by Eucharist at 7.30 p.m. Mass timing effective from 8th January onwards. Tamil Mass at 7 a.m., English Mass at 9 a.m., Mandarin Mass at 11 a.m., and Bahasa Mass at 1 p.m. The parish pastoral assembly will be held on Sunday 8th January from 3 p.m. to 5:30 p.m. at the visitation hall. All office bearers of ministries and parishioners are strongly encouraged to attend. The church is looking for qualified engineers or technicians in electrical, plumbing and construction to be part of the maintenance team. those interested please submit your name to the parish office mass for children with disability physically challenged will be held on 15 january at 3 pm with the celebration of first holy communion all are welcome there will be a formation in tamil entitled fruitful discipleship on 22nd january from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. for all BCs zone ministry coordinators parishioners and laity breakfast will be served for further information please contact Suse Selvanatham or David Alimotu their phone numbers are in the bulletin the parish office will be closed on 1st to 2nd January Okay. And finally, we would like to thank all the BECs in Zone 16 for animating the masses in December 2022, and also the youths for animating the mass this morning. Thank you. Youths, 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 please come this new year. We want you around. so that many more things can be done so we welcome all of you young people please come whenever there is an event please come and sign up parents please encourage your young ones the future of the church begins today not in next tomorrow or day after tomorrow so let them come yes uh, can you turn and look at the back those of you up there all of you can just turn and look there up up the decorations there Yeah, sometimes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> don't need to look forever there. I just asked you to look back because uh, don't look back at the year. Look around you. What's happening? It's good to know that. 
lot of people put a lot of efforts to put a lot to do a lot of things around the church a lot of people means a handful <laughs> but you have thousands here but only a handful come around this one family actually especially arul mary the sacristan and family put up and all our parish staff i don't have time to mention everyone's name all the liturgical groups the servers the choir the readers the commentators the altar decorators the communion ministers the usherers the hospitality ministers and all the various leaders of the various uh, groups of the parish i just mentioned about thanking 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 don't fail to thank people because god has blessed you with such for us to enjoy this life all the foods the fruit sellers and everybody else the market so we just thank god for all these beautiful people who have put a lot of things together to make this celebration this year the year end beautiful one and let us pray that we come back together with greater zeal and enthusiasm with joy in our hearts to give to build the church to build this nation how much anwar ibrahim would have envisaged so much for this country so i envisage for this parish so we pray that we will do greater things for the glory of god and before i end up we will have the final blessing and uh, wish you all a blessed joyous and holy new year take care to celebrate life to the fullest john 10:10 -10. i came that you may have life and have life to the fullest so let us stand after each invocation respond amen may god the source and origin of all blessing grant your grace pour out his blessing in abundance and keep you safe from harm throughout the year amen may he give you integrity in the faith endurance in hope and perseverance in charity with holy patience to the end amen and may he order your days and your deeds in his peace grant your prayers in this and in every place and lead you happily to eternal life amen and may the blessing of almighty god the father and the son and the holy spirit come down on you and remain with you forever amen go in peace celebrating life thanks Thanks be, be to God. God. Enjoy. Nyanyi lah bersungguh-sungguh dengan sepenuh semangat tahun baru.